and today we're talking about how to make an oxygen concentrator quiet. I actually get this question a lot with a lot of patients because the unfortunate reality is a lot of these machines are loud and they're they're loud for a variety of reasons. One being that they're an oxygen machine and you're pretty much guaranteed to have a machine putting out a minimum of 30 decibels, upwards of 60, 70 decibels, sometimes even louder depending on the problems with the machine. And the unfortunate reality is you can't always just get another machine. Believe me, I've been with plenty of providers where they're literally out because of different problems or they can't get another machine right away so the one that's there is all they have. So with that being the case there's different ways to quiet them down and to try to fix the problem or at least to alleviate it some so the customer can deal with the problem easier. Now sometimes it's just a matter of the machine noise period where there's nothing you can do about it because that's the sound it's putting off. There is no mechanical problem and we'll, we'll address that as well. So basically right from the start one of the worst things you can have go wrong with the machine is like here with the case where the case attaches with like an Invacare 5 they're the most problematic because of their age that I've dealt with and going around the case there's screws it goes into the case but unfortunately at times these parts are the parts of the case are broken so the machine isn't as attached as tightly as it should be and there's some platinum fives platinums and platinum tens that are in that same boat where the case is cracked or the foam is missing and now it's vibrating against the case against the case and basically what happens is it starts to make this loud shaking noise and that stems from the fact that the engine inside of the machine is actually floating on springs there's a set of springs inside and the, the engine floats on it as it were it runs which gives all that vibration but the springs are supposed to help quiet that but it goes into the case too and which is the foam and the, the screws are supposed to keep it tight so when any of these are out of out of alignment out of broken it just makes the problem worse and worse depending on how much is broke now the springs itself if one of these springs is broke it's going to sound it can get as bad or it sounds like someone's actually shooting a gun because the engine is banging literally against the side because it's not attached and now you have it's attached on two or three different springs and the other one's just banging back and forth with that being the case, that's your worst case scenario. The best thing would be to replace the machine. The only thing you can truly do to try to alleviate that is to try to tilt the machine, say upwards on the side where the springs are good. That'll help quiet it down some. If you're tilting it, say you have a towel under it and you put more of a, a lump on the one side, which really sounds sad, but if it's the best you can do, at least to get you by for the night until you can get another machine in there. And then as far as the case being broken such, it's a matter of trying to tighten it down, trying to add padding where padding is missing. That's happened at times until you can get another case because there's times where you don't have a spare case and you have to order one where you can get one that's not broke or it has the padding. So that happens. And then with the the general sitting of the machine, I find in a lot of cases people have hardwood floors. Even laminates will do this. Like I said, that engine's shaking on its springs, but you put that on a, a hardwood floor and it just accelerates the sound. So it takes, it makes a worse situation even worse. Excuse me. <clears throat> now, with that being the case, you could put some cardboard under it even better would be a rug or two rugs or you fold the rug up or towels or carpet even your carpet on your floor is good but putting a couple more layers would help even more the only thing i tell people is whatever you're putting under the machine make sure it's old and you're not really worried about it because the exhaust is pushing old, old dust and stuff and it's going to basically cause a a dusty stain on the bottom 
of the machine wherever it's at you know we have to get in there and really clean it out so if you put like an old rug or an old towel you don't care about on there it's not gonna be as big a deal so that's some ideas so far so we've covered that and then another thing the muffler which a lot of these models actually have a little muffler inside it that can go bad which that's a repair replace thing and most of the time we don't have one of those with us so if that's the case then it's going back to trying to get the machine further away which is going to be the case with a lot of these if it's just too much noise because even your regular machine that has nothing wrong with it, it's going to have that sound and if a person can't sleep with it usually what I do from there is we talk about adding some more oxygen tubing and taking it into another room or into the hallway I start with the hallway if it's really small or they don't want it there or it's a restriction as far as they're using a walker or something then we start looking for another room so, but we, what we don't want is a closet because a closet is a really confined space it's not going to allow the oxygen machine to breathe we need it to breathe we need it to have air so it's not being confined because that's going to cause even more problems so adding tubing getting it up to the full hundred feet plus your cannula taking it to another room easily doable before they go to bed they would just turn it on if it's a nighttime person if it's 24 hours it's running all the time anyways but put it in another room maybe it's even more central to the house so the person can get more length around the house anyways but they're not going to hear it when they're in bed and they're not really going to hear it in other parts of the house either if they have it in another room and they have the door partially closed or closed as long as there's enough room for ventilation in the room so that's pretty much it but there is one more thing and this is pretty much common sense of any time you have a noise an outside noise or such when you're trying to get some sleep but especially when you're running a concentrator and you can hear the sound as simple as it sounds just running a fan having a little noise that you actually try to have you know it's just blowing a little air that makes a world of difference because that takes a machine off in another room you have that air going that whoosh and now you can't really hear anything or it's very faint so with that that's how I solve that problem it's not perfect but it should address most of what you have going on and if you're not able to get a machine right away it'll definitely take care of it and if you're in the case where it's just the sound of the machine bothers you this is pretty much everything that we can do to help you on that as far as you know you'll have to work out the logistics with your guy or gal <laughs> whichever you have and um, should be good to go if you have any comments if you've tried this below if it's not worked for you put it down below oh there was one other thing i can think of inside the machine sometimes you hear that whistling that could be a matter of lubrication you do not want to do the lubrication on the machine because these types of machines require special lubricant it's a non-flammable non-combustible lubricant really expensive stuff just a little tube of it. it's like 80 or 100 bucks it's nothing that you can just grab some grease or something from the store or the auto mart or anything like that so leave that to the professionals and that's actually it i can't really think of anything else but if you can you have any situations you've tried it and it worked great put a comment down below if you like the video you got some help out of it give me a thumbs up i would appreciate that and if you haven't subscribed what you could do is you could subscribe and when you need to if you need to find this video again in the future you'll be able to find me through your subscription all right i'm frank with oxygen guy have a great day we'll see you soon